This is an instructional video created to assist you in successfully performing exercises for the California Highway Patrol's Applicant Physical Abilities Test. This video will provide you with detailed information in regard to successfully completing push-ups, sit-ups, a 300-meter run, and a 1.5-mile run. Push-ups. The applicant will start by placing both hands on the ground slightly wider than shoulder width. One knee will be down on the exercise mat with the remaining knee straight. Once given the command to ready, the applicant will remove their knee from the exercise mat and place their feet together or up to 12 inches apart. The applicant will support their body weight on both hands and toes, keeping their back straight, forming a plank position. The second command, begin, will initiate the test. The applicant will then be required to complete a proper push-up by lowering the entire body in a plank position while maintaining an upper arm position of approximately 45 degrees from the torso, lowering the body until the upper arm is parallel to the floor, then immediately raising the body, locking out the elbows. The applicant will perform as many proper push-ups as possible within one minute. To be successful, applicants will need to properly complete 19 push-ups. The applicant's push-ups will not be counted if they use an improper base. Short arm the push-up. Do not lock out their elbows. Flex their hips. Hyperextend their back. Do not maintain proper upper arm position. Allow any part of their body other than their hands and feet to contact the ground. If necessary, an applicant will be allowed to rest in the proper up position. Sit-ups. The applicant will start by lying on their back, knees bent at 90 degrees, feet together, flat on the floor. The applicant will place their fingers at their temple area. The proctor will place a weight device or sandbag on the applicant's feet to anchor them to the ground. Once given the command to begin, the applicant will raise the torso until they reach a sitting position. Align the elbows to break the vertical plane of their knees. The applicant will then lower their body back to the starting position, ensuring their lower back makes contact with the exercise mat. The applicant does not need to contact the mat with their shoulders. The applicant will perform as many proper sit-ups as possible within one minute. To be successful, applicants will need to properly complete 25 sit-ups. The applicant's sit-ups will not be counted if they remove their fingertips from their temple area. Wrap their hands around their neck or head. Do not break the vertical plane of their knees with their elbows. Do not touch their lower back to the mat. Thrust hips outwards in order to gain momentum. Or do not maintain a 90-degree bend in the knees. The applicant must maintain constant motion. If at any time the applicant rests, the test will stop and only the completed number of sit-ups will be tallied for a final score. 300 meter run. The applicant will be required to run 300 meters per time on a flat level surface. This activity can be completed on either a track or measured course. Once the applicant has been given the command to begin, they will run 300 meters as fast as necessary to complete the measured course within the allotted time of 70 seconds. 1.5 mile run. The applicant will be required to run 1.5 miles per time on a flat level surface. This activity can be completed on either a track or measured course. Once the applicant has been given the command to begin, they will run 1.5 miles as fast as necessary to complete the measured course within the allotted time of 15 minutes. Disqualification will end the applicant's hiring process with the California Highway Patrol.